Hello and welcome back to my do-it-yourself Arduino quadcopter tutorials. In this video, we'll go over the testing and parts placement. We'll first start with testing the motors. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to test the motors. And the reason for that is because I learned it the hard way um, because one of the previous drones that I made, you know, I had everything set up. It was all done, you know, motors mounted, all the connections made, but it turned out that, uh, you know, the motors, they were, uh, they were bad. So, you know, that, th you know, that gave me a lesson that, you know, I should probably test the motors when they come in, just to see that they're, you know, just to see that they're working fine, uh, and then go forward. So what I'm going to do right now is just show you how to just simply test your motors that they're working fine. And for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the motor. So this is an LD power motor, LD power 960 kilovolt motor. So I think I'm at peak current of 18 amperes. I'm going to take that motor. I have the motor mount already mounted. I'm going to take my spectrum receiver. Uh, I'm going to take the battery and I'm going to take one of the ESCs. Okay. And what I'm going to do is simply connect the motor to the ESC. So the motor is connected. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to connect the back output of the ESC to the throttle input on my receiver. Make sure that you know the polarity because the brown is the ground, the orange is the uh, signal. So I'm going to connect it accordingly onto my receiver. So that's connected. I'm going to connect the battery and actually I have a wire harness for this battery so I'm going to take this wire harness and connect the battery basically you can make this connection directly too it doesn't really matter actually I'm going to first connect the uh, positive and negatives here so red is the positive positive black is the negative that goes here and I'm going to connect this okay so that is connected I'm going to turn the transmitter on Okay, so I got the two beeps. I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this motor mount when I power it up. You can see the motor is working fine. Okay, so that basically confirms that the motor is good. It's working fine, working as expected. Um, and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go and, uh, you know, uh, check all the four motors accordingly to see that they're working fine and then I'm going to proceed again you know you can go directly I decided to to show you this just because you know I learned it the hard way when my motors didn't work when I had the whole quad copter set up so okay so that's uh, the motor check we'll now look at the parts placement okay guys so when I finished unwinding the quad copter in my last video I basically ended up with this so you can see over here it's the sk450 uh frame i have um you know all screwed up all mounted up yeah uh, there's a base plate uh there's an upper plate four arms motor mounting plates and then i have an additional plate that comes on the top of it uh what i didn't take out was this mpu 6050 uh, uh gyroscope this is a six degree freedom gyroscope and i didn't take this out reason for that is you know when i saw this uh, i thought you know, it's pretty good mounted in place actually and i don't want to uh, you know just for the sake of taking everything apart you know take this apart too and then you know uh, put this back in because I, I mean i already like its position right now so i think i'm going to keep it like that my the upper plate that i was talking about is this one so that's the upper plate and as you can see i have the arduino uno microcontroller already mounted on this plate um, and what i'm thinking you know in terms of keeping things tidy and you know making sure that i can work on it at a later stage i'm gonna you know i'm thinking of keeping this plate at about this height you know with this i feel you know i can i will have enough space in between these two plates so that my wires can come out go in you know they're a bit easy and tidy uh, and i you know and then 
I'm thinking of uh, placing the wire harness in between these two plates so it goes right over here um, and I'll explain a little stage as to why I had why I have such a big wire harness you know um, when I explain the wiring diagram for this quadcopter you know if someone asks me is this big wire harness needed I would say no you know uh, if someone asks me why I did it you know it was probably I would say you know when I made the first drone that, well that was my first drone so you know I wanted to see how things were um, and so I thought that you know I'll still keep using this one you know I have certain things uh, soldered here and I'll explain what I have in here why I have it when I explain the wiring diagram okay so for now the wire harness kind of goes in between these two plates somewhere right over here okay the next thing I have the ESC's so the Turner G Multistar 2.0 30 amp ESC I'm thinking of having well all of these ESC's on each of the arm so you know goes like that uh, you know something like that and what I got to keep take care of is that you know I have the back output wires quite long in this ESC so you know I don't want them to either you know slinging down you know I, I want to have them in place so that they don't just you know keep you know, them so that they're not loose basically so um, I, I would have to think a way of you know having these wires you know maybe I take them have like a round or something around this arm or something like that but you know I'll see I'll see uh, what is the best uh, for this round uh, so that is the ESC uh, as normal the uh, motors will be mounted like that on each of the arms and okay and the battery I'm thinking of having the battery uh, underneath the drum just like that uh, I have a battery what, what is it that battery tie velcro thing so I have that uh, the tie wrap so I'm uh, thinking of uh, mounting the battery like that um, the uh, the spec the transmitter receiver um, I haven't decided yet where, as to how I'm gonna place it and where but I'm thinking of you know having it again between these two plates just like that so that you know I have access to all these pins you know this receive you know the antennas are good you know uh, and then this goes just like that you know on the other side basically uh, the reason for that is you know I initially had them like that and it kind of gave me a problem because the distance between this plate and the Arduino plate was so small that it was really hard for me to work on so that is why I'm thinking of having it like that so that I don't have to worry about all these you know wirings I just have to worry about these pins in the end so yeah so that's that's pretty much it okay so thank you for watching this video guys in the next video I will go over assembling all the quadcopter parts such as the motor and the ESCs so stay tuned for my next video and uh, please uh, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.